good Tuesday morning. It's time to get started in the third section here. I'm walking along the bottom. I have it all trimmed up. Now it's time to weed and do some clipping. Move some plants around. Fun things like that. And this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to do some weeding and cleaning up. And I might bring a few more flowers down here. I'm still working in this bed, but I'm going to go take a breakfast break. I have moved up the um, echinacea right here. One, two, three, four plants. They were just on the other side of this bed. And I brought them up here. And, uh, gonna go eat. Good Wednesday morning. I'm going to get started here and, uh, just keep working down the line here. I think that's looking a lot better. I uh, transplanted a few more, one, two, yeah, two, two more echinacea up front, and I found three of the canna lilies where we dug them last week, or the week before, I can't remember, um, that I missed, so I went and dug those up and brought them over, and now I'm just kind of water it and put some pines down. Okay, moving on. This is a snow, snow queen apricot that I bought years ago. I'll have to put it up here and look it up. Um, it just doesn't want to grow, so I'm going to dig it up and put it in a pot. And behind it is a um, comfrey, which I'm going to move over by the bananas. Okay, I'm moving on to the banana bed area. I'm going to move that pineapple. It doesn't like down here. Uh, there is the There's the comfrey that I transplanted. I ended up with three. One, two, and three. I got some weeds to pull out here. And I had to water because it was so dry down here. Oh, remember all that time that I planted down here and I propagated with only one surviving? Where are you at? Right there. So I'm going to move it to... See if we can see the bananas. They're getting big and fat, but they're not turning yet. The waiting's the hardest part. Okay, behind the banana plants, I have one little um, moringa that came back. And as you can see, what I was talking about, they don't get big here. So I'm going to put this in a pot. I was advised that they like a lot of nitrogen, and uh, since we have no chickens right now, eventually I'm going to put it down where the chicken pen was and see how it does there. But for now, it's just going to go in a pot. It's going to be an all-day sunny day, Thursday morning, so I'm going to try to get these two beds done before the sun is hitting me. As you can see, the sun's coming in on me. But I got both of those beds done. Or just weeded. You might be wondering what the heck are these? These are the perennial broccoli. It's actually cauliflower that I was trying. And that one looks like it's definitely dead. This one's iffy. And I think this one's dead. And that one might make it. We'll have to wait and see. I put a bunch of dill seeds down. Most of them got washed away, but I do have a few plants going. So I'm going to get some compost, put it down, and try putting some more seeds in. And then over here on this bed, let's get out of the sunshade, sunshine. I got it cleaned up. I have two holes dug. Because this is where I'm going to plant the mice more raspberry. Okay, moving up the hill. Scarlet hibiscus. Yes, I have a white trumpet in the center here. 
and obedient flowers in here. I was hoping that they would spread out, but they haven't spread much, and their season is almost done, it looks like. Maybe next year we'll get some seeds going down here, spread them around. So I got this done. I only pulled out the weeds, the ground cover. I let it go underneath. I pulled out all the um, pavers that I had around it. Um, I just had those around it when they were very young plants. And now that they're established plants, I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. Good Friday morning. I'm going to start with the rose bushes here. I got one big one here, one back there, or two small ones back here. And I'm just going to be pulling the weeds around the base of it and bringing up some compost for it. And then giving it a good water. I believe that this rose has died. I did have two of them. The first one died. I had it up in a different spot. It already died, so I'm going to pull this out, and I think I'm done for the day. I'm leaking all over myself. Whew, it's warm. So I think that's it for today. Pull this baby out, and I'm done. Okay, this bed here used to be my strawberry bed, but the deers kept coming in and eating my strawberries off the plants. And then, since I don't have a drip line out here for them, the sun started burning them up, so... The few strawberry plants that I had left, I've transplanted them somewhere else. And then I started um, putting in green beans for the fall. And of course, the deer came in and started eating those. So I'm like, duh, put a float cover on it. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got under here. We got any of that made it or not. Ooh, bugs have been eating something. Now these on this end, I just put in the seeds a week ago, maybe, last weekend. Okay, it looks pretty dry, so I'm going to have to run some water. That is not a green bean plant. Huh. That looks like a cucumber. I wonder who put that there. Okay. Let me get some water on this and then start pulling the weeds out. Well, I found what's eating them now. It's not the deer anymore. It's these little guys. Wonderful. Look at that. They're all over the cover, too. I was just moving it and I found them all over this. They were all over everything, and I think that is a cucumber plant. I think there's two in there, and I didn't plant that. I don't know where it came from, but um, I'm going to leave this bed open, not put the float cover back on for the day. Maybe the birds will come in and help take care of this mess for me. But I found big ones, tiny, lots of tiny, tiny ones, and a couple small ones. And now I'm moving on to the... A little bed around the tree. Just going to do some weeding. And I think this thing here needs to be cut back. It's huge. And some transplanting because I want to move a couple of these plants too. Okay, we'll do a quick walk around here and I'll show you what it looks like. I really cut this back hard. Here's all the trimmings from it. And while I was under there, I found babies coming up. Wherever the root was showing on the ground, new plants were coming up. So I'm going to put those in pots. And I'm going to get some compost over here probably tomorrow morning. But let's take a little walk around here. And I got my rue planted. And since I cut that one back so much, you might actually be able to, maybe my Shasta Daisy will finally perk up and bloom. 
Oop, I found two I missed. I need to pull those uh, two little trees there. Okay, I'm just going to water it and I'm done for the day. Here is another marigold tree that I planted by a citrus because it was supposed to, I read an article that it was supposed to keep the white flies away. Well, that's a lie. So, so if you read that article too, don't believe it. So when this is done flowering, I'm going to dig it up and move it. But until then, we're going to trim it up because I think we got some more starting. Let's take a look. So I have at least three there with root systems on them. I'm going to put them in a pot. I planted two spearmint plants over here by the plum tree, but I think I only have one left, but I'm going to clean this up, put a little compost on it, and see if I can find the other one also. Okay, I have a shade plant right here, and it's normal for it to look like this this time of the year. As it starts cooling off, it'll start looking better. I'm going to dig this one up and move it. When I planted my holy grail hibiscus here, it had tons of sun, but now I have um, a plum tree and a citrus tree on the other side that's blocking the majority of the sun. So I'm digging this up and putting it in a pot because it'll go up by the house once we get the um, grading done around the house. So when I dug up the Holy Grail hibiscus, there ended up being two, so I put them in two pots. This rosemary bush, I'm going to move over to the other ones that I started from clippings into section two. I'm going to collect some seeds off the Mexican um, sunflower. We have a few butterflies visiting this morning, and bees. And uh, then I'm going to water everything in this section, cover up the green beans, and um, I'm going to be done for the day because I have a physical therapy I have to get ready for. It is Tuesday morning. I've already been out and did some watering. This is like our, we're on our third week of no rain, so everything is just so dry. But I got a lot of weeds to pull here. And I would like to move that, but I don't know if I'm going to get to that today. We're definitely going to start with the weeds and go from there. Okay, I'm going to be clipping this lantana back, way back. And um, I'm just going to put it in a bucket. I had a bucket of water over here. I'm going to put the clippings in that. The butterflies like the Atlantana too, but they also have others that they can go and visit around the property. Sorry. I'm going to cut this thing way back. There we go. I got the lantanum dug up. I'm going to rewater this and put some compost down. Look at the crazy roots on this lantana. It's Monday morning, and I'm going to check on the green beans to see if they are still buggy and uh, water them because we haven't had any rain.
seen any birds. Today is Thursday and I'm going to uh, be finishing up this section and get the weeds pulled and put some compost on it. Well that's basically it for a section, what is this, three. I still need to bring the compost up for the orange tree and the compost up for the Tangelo over here in section two. I need to pick up some of the bricks, pavers that I've used, but the plants are basically done. Pulling weeds, I mean, you know what I mean. Um, I got the sprinkler going here because it has been so dry that everything's just like, I'm giving up. Even the weeds are plopping. This mess here. This wooden mess right there, that is construction mess, so that'll be a while before it's gone. Okay, let's walk to the bottom and look up. And this is section three. Oh my gosh, I just looked up. We have yellow bananas. We have yellow bananas. Okay, sorry, excitement overload. That is our first bananas ever. And they are the golden African banana. So, moving on. The rose bushes. Oh, I got a stem down I need to pick up, a limb. We have a few fruit trees over here. And then that brings us back up to where I finished weeding. This is the um, leech field. And so all from this way over to those will be flowers eventually. But we need to do some more grading and uh, before I can actually fill it in. That is section three.